Hey guys, Andy with Fathom Offshore. I'm here with Tom from the Bangaran. Good to see you, Tom. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about mahi fishing. So uh, we got a bunch of stuff in front of us. Let's kind of dig into it and see what we got. So we got a bunch of our dead bait stuff here, like our glitter chuggers and our mylar chuggers. The way we're selling these on the site, uh, we do sell them individually, which is kind of unrigged like you're seeing it here. And then we also sell them on our Ballyhoo kind of pin rigs, which is just a really quick way to kind of uh, get a Ballyhoo on here and keep changing out baits pretty fast and get them in the water. So it looks like you got some stuff there off of your boat how does that kind of vary from from what we're fishing here well like you were saying these spring clips make it really really quick for you to you know rig baits and and, and get another bait back out there if you're yeah. getting covered up in dolphins getting whacked yeah and uh and keep fishing um something on the bangerang we do is you know we just use a piece of copper wire to mm -hmm. attach our ballyhoos but also one of the benefits is we have the ability to change out our chin leads so if we get out there and the conditions yeah. change you know Normally I'm fishing a, a 3 8 ounce chin lead, yep. but if it's a little rougher, you want to put half ounce leads on there, or you know, if you want your baits to maybe skip a little bit more, go to a quarter ounce lead. Okay. So yeah. it's just something, it's just, you can just kind of adapt it to the conditions that you're trying to fish in. That's great. Uh, one of the other things I assume that this kind of allows you to do is, depending on whether you're running a select, a horse, a medium, you're able to kind of slide that, that that let up a little bit and exactly. kind of get it up underneath the chin. Exactly. That's a really cool way of doing yep. it. Yep, and also change, you know, with a bigger ballyhoo, you want a little bit more weight usually. So, yep. uh, But still, ultimately, coming back to the method to be able to kind of get these chuggers in front of them to add some color, add some pop, mm -hmm. um, and that's that's a really great way of doing it. For sure. Um, we also do, um, you know, some of these birds here. I, I assume um, that you can either run these in chains, uh, you can kind of, you know, rig them individually, but these are kind of another way to kind of add some splash and, and color to your spread. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. If, if the bite's kind of slow, you know, and you need to, to change it up a little bit, you know, throw one of these out there and add a little bit more, you know, you know, splash and commotion out there to your spread, and it might change things around for you. That's right. Well, let's uh, let's maybe talk um, kind of lures a little bit. So, uh, some of the stuff that I've got in front of me here, if you're, you know, you're not rigging ballyhoo or, or you know, ballyhoo are hard to get, or mm -hmm. or you just haven't had time slick that day. You call your boss, or you, or you call you in sick. Ran out of ballyhoo. You, <laughs> you ran so out of ballyhoo. So many fish, you're ready to roll. <laughs> um, so these are also really effective ways to target um, meat fish here. And so these are some pre-rig packs. Um, that we sell rigged up ready to roll um, and some of the advantages to these packs is you know uh, at dead baits you're pulling them at what speeds five to seven knots yeah. typically yep. the nice thing about the trolling lures is you can kind of pull these guys at your seven to nine knots so that's right you, you know if you're ground yeah if you're pulling a full day at five knots or a full day at nine you're almost getting in twice the ground coverage in the same amount of fishing so mm -hmm. that's another option um, an advantage to fish in artificials as well as um, you know, sometimes with dead bait, it's just, man, it's nature of the beast. You're going to get short strikes and you're going to bring kind of that, that hook and that lead back to the boat and half your valley who's going to be gone. That's right. And, um, some of the reason for that is, is mahi tend to be suction feeders. So, so when they come up, a lot of the time they're inhaling, just like a big blue marlin would, they're going to inhale that bait. And a lot of the time they bring that hook or the back of that valley who tail right into their mouth, they bite down, which is kind of where when you're de dead bait fishing, you dump the spool pitch it back to them and allow that fish to kind of come back and hit it. Whereas mm -hmm. the lures, you're not going to have that. If that fish is coming in, eating the tail or inhaling that, they're getting a lot of hook in their mouth, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're not having to drop this back. You're going to, you know, you get a, a miss bite on a lure, you're taking it away from them, right? Mm -hmm. So these are a couple really good options, pre-rigged, ready to roll uh, for the guy that's looking to target mahi, you know, and not have to, to go through all the ballyhoo prep and stuff like that's that. That's right. And another good thing with these is, you know, Especially if you're going out meat fishing and you're dragging, you know, sometimes we'll have you know, 60 baits on here rigged and we'll get covered up in, in small tunas and dolphins and it's not even noon and you're gone through, you know, you know, three quarters of your baits. <laughs> right, so this right. is like an insurance policy. Yeah, you know, yeah absolutely. You can throw one of these out there and start cleaning baits and still be fishing. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You're not catching fish if you don't have anything in the water. So exactly. a really good option. And, and like I said, you can speed it up to find the fish a little bit easier and then switch out the tactics to, mm -hmm. to whatever they're doing. Um, another option uh, or advantage rather to these um, kind of pre-rig packs is if you're in a lot of grass, which we know when you're targeting mahi, grass. And it's from a guy that's running that's right. a big boat like that and has a big cockpit to kind of get from one end to the other. Um, the nice thing about lures is you can shag that grass a little bit easier. You yep. know, you, you get grassed up on a ballyhoo, 
it's coming back to the boat. That's and right. so nice thing about these guys, go ahead and give them a heavy crank, pop that grass. As long as that lure looks like it's running true, chugging the right way, um, you can kind of keep it back out there. So mm -hmm. um, we do have lots of really good options for targeting mahi specifically. Um, these packs are a super good way to kind of get started on that. These are, the four packs are really good for boats that don't have outriggers that are just running four rods. And we get a lot of questions all the time on, well, how many rods should I run? And it's only as many rods as you can handle. So That's if right. you're getting, if you're kind of getting into it, um, you know, keep it, keep it simple. And and, yeah. uh, and as you kind of get more advanced, tangles. minimize tangles and catch fish. Yep. So talking about a couple other things um, that we use to target mahi are these chains here. So this is our bubble trouble. We sell it unrigged. We sell it uh, rigged, which is on an eight foot leader. Uh, and then we also sell it in these chain forms. Um, and I know once, you know, uh, you've, you've probably seen this, once these mahi get fired up, it's it's pretty easy to keep them fired up and catch oh, yeah. them as long That's as there's season, some man. some stuff going on. So the birds are super nice. It adds a lot of commotion and, and, um, and you know, really kind of gets their attention. So between dead bait and artificials, uh, we got a lot of really good options for mahi. Check them out below. If you got any questions, uh, you can always reach out to us. And if we don't know the answer, We'll reach out to a guy like Tom that can definitely help you out. So we appreciate you and, uh, and yeah, check them out. <laughs>